Hola, everybody. What's going on? Hey, if you can just uh, type in the chat real quick and let me know uh, if everything's working. How is everybody? There's always a delay with the uh, webinar, uh, Google Hangouts, of 10 seconds, I noticed. Hey, Mr. Canal, how you doing? All right, good, good, good. Every everything is working fine then. Hey, Emil, how you doing, Mr. Frey? What's going on? Awesome. So, uh, guys, uh, I'm really excited uh, to present a, a dear friend of mine who I've known actually really since I think that everybody started using Twitter. He was really one of my first friends, uh, Dan Merkin, who is the CEO of Trade Ideas. Trade Ideas is probably the most powerful uh, scanning tool uh, out on the market. Uh, I've used it for now since 2008. And uh, you guys will see me uh, on Bulls Vision, you know, in the screen share that I do in the morning. That's the thing I have up in the morning. You know, Dan has given me all these pre-market filters. And so in the morning, I scan pre-market for earnings movers, uh, PR movers, you know, very some very specific criteria of the things that I like to play, like stocks like uh, SGNL today, right? That stock just exploded out of nowhere. So I use trade ideas to help find those plays in the morning, but uh, I'm only using the tip of the iceberg. You know, I'm using basically 1% of the capabilities of what this thing uh, can do. And Dan has been nice enough to come today and really go over all the stuff that they have going on and really show you how to supercharge your trading results using technology and kind of marrying what we know about charting and technology with their engine of uh, artificial intelligence. So uh, my man, Dan, uh, welcome. Thanks for coming on. I'm going to uh, give you the floor here and um, good luck. Put on a show. Thanks, my friend. Kunal, I really appreciate the opportunity to present to your audience. Um, let's make sure. How do we know that everybody can hear me? We can hear you. OK. Um, also, I was going to um, make sure that I'm able to do some sort of question and answer. I can't quite see the questions uh, right now, um, but it's, it's OK. When we get through uh, some of the presentation, you know, we'll, we'll work on it together. But let okay. me just, so everybody's able to see my screen right now. It's just a slide of the presentation. I just got a couple of slides. And then I'm going to jump into what you guys have been waiting for, which is you know seeing what's going on and how to really turbocharge this action. So um, we're going to be talking about day trading on steroids, really. And you guys are in great hands with Kunal. Um, the key to successful day trading is really um, having some good leadership. And that's something that many people just unfortunately don't have access to. And you guys are lucky because uh, Kunal's passionate about what he's doing. Maribeth is also very good. And I love helping and interacting with people who are just, you know, they're passionate about what they do and they're passionate about the markets. And we're here to do one thing. We're here to help you guys make more money. So let's talk about how we're gonna do that. Um, first of all, just a little disclaimer just to make sure everybody knows that Trade Ideas is not a registered investment advisor. And all the information that you see here is for educational purposes only. So the one thing just again, as Kunal introduced me, you know, Trade Ideas is actually not any kind of fintech startup. We've been around for a long, long time. I'm really old, um, especially in dog years. So here uh, we just got recognized for the Benzinga Fintech Award for being one of the premier leaders in uh, idea generation, helping people find what they should be trading. This is our specialty and we do that by being able to watch every single stock in the market at the same time. So let me uh, kind of give you a little bit of history on myself and like why it is that, you know, Kunal and I are good friends and why is it that you might want to be listening to what I have to say. So as you can see here, this was taken in uh, 1996 and I was uh, approximately two years out of college. So back then, it was really the beginning of the uh, electronic trading revolution. Kunal was still in kindergarten, and 
you know, a lot of things were happening. So I was very lucky because I was a part of this whole landscape and I got to kind of see how everything worked from the inside out. And here's what I learned, and I'm sure a lot of you know this, and this is why I'm here doing this webinar, is that trading is not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. It's one of the most challenging things you can do, and yet people still often like uh, approach you like, hey, I'm going to get into trading and make some money. Well, listen. You know, if it was that easy, you would, again, see a lot of people doing it. Here's the high level and why I, even this card is important. So it approximately takes 10,000 hours, and I'm sure you guys have read all of this from, or heard about it from Malcolm Gladwell and, and, and other psychologists, that to be an expert, you need world-class kind of training for 10,000 hours to be really good, right? And to be really good in order to practice properly to be very good at what you do, you have to get feedback. This is the real key. Like, how do you know if what you're doing is good or bad? Well, in trading, before the advent of the internet and good educational forms like what you guys are doing with bulls, the ways you did it was the way I did it, which is through bloody noses. Made a lot of mistakes, um, lost almost $50,000 to start but was basically able to eke my way through, survive, go over the learning curve and come back on the other side and then put on a pretty good show from that point on. So a lot of the things that went in, that goes on into Trade Ideas, which is the company that uh, I founded with my partners in 2002, is really this technology that we originally designed for ourselves because we are also traders. So like Kunal said, on Twitter, I'm out there, I'm posting trades, showing people stock charts that I like. And our platform is really, in my opinion, one of these tools that can really help you take things to the next level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into um, this uh, presentation and show you really this technology, what it is, how you can benefit from it, show you some things that you can do. And uh, I'm going to give you some time to kind of let it all sink in. I'll answer questions. And then I'm going to show you some uh, promotions that we have for this webinar so that you guys can really take advantage of it, and I hope that you do. So here we go. Let me, I'm going to minimize this browser or move it over. So what you're seeing here is, um, let me just move it over here. What you're seeing here is, is my screen. Okay, so this is a trading screen and I kind of made it small so that you're not overwhelmed uh, by information. One of the things that I wanted to share with you, first of all, and this is really exciting, is that these charts, okay, right here, and this is the daily and the uh, 60 minute, and you can go through multiple time frames and things like that. Um, they are now going to be a part of trade ideas. So what we've done is, over the last like four months, we've built our own charting engine on top of our AI engine. And so um, charting will be included in the Trade Idea subscription, which will be going up to $99 a month probably by the end of July. And again, I'll talk about that. But let me just show, show you some cool things that we do just in the charting itself. So in the charting, and this is here, I have a, a list called Top Forming AI Pattern Recognition. So instead of spending a lot of time helping you guys or showing you how do we configure things and whatever, um, what I'm going to show you is kind of the finished product. You guys don't need to spend your time trying to figure out how to set this up. We do that for you. So here I have a list, and this is called a top list. That's why you see a T. It's a ranked list showing you stocks that are down the most from the close percentage-wise, um, but also that are forming uh, what we call a top. So let's take a look at what they look like, okay? So here's Sony, right? So notice that as I move my uh, cursor in the daily chart, and this is the day for today, notice how it also updates on the 60-minute chart. This is called cursor synchronization, okay? So that you can see what the hell it is that you look like in this day. Where are you in the big day? I can also kind of zoom in and out, you know? So here I am again in the daily candle and what does it look like on an intraday and of course you can uh switch the intraday time frames so ivc invocare another uh pattern that looks like a top so notice every one of these will be topping looking 
And the idea here is twofold. Number one, we don't want you to waste time searching for them because we're going to serve them up to you. Okay. And number two, top formations don't necessarily mean that it's going to tank. It just means that depending on what um, your instinct might be or what you're working with, uh, with in the bull's room with Kunal, I mean, this could also be a very good buying opportunity, possibly. And again, we'll discuss how we figure out which one is which. But the bottom line is that if you want to find topping formations, and here again, remember, this is the 15-minute and this is the daily. Everything is movable, so I can do it this way so you can see here's the long term, here's the shorter term. One of the nice things with our technology is that it's very, very customizable and flexible. Okay, So all these stocks that you see here, they're going to be in a topping format. So here's again MRKT, just topping. And as I'm going through, here I can see where I am on the chart in both time frames. So we think this is really important because it helps you to um, kind of visualize better your risk. So of course, if you've got topping, why not do bottoming? Okay. And Kunal pointed out SGNL, right? A bottom forming. So you can look at this chart and you're like, what is Dan talking about? Why is this a bottom? But all you would need to do is just quickly expand it out a little bit and see that we're talking about a little bit longer term, right? It's very important in trading to be able to see the forest through the trees. So look at this. I mean, SGNL was at one point, you know, an $8 stock, and here it is, had another huge day um, or area here that we can look into. Very big day on big volume, then proceeded to go down, had one of these, and now here's another one. I mean, something could be happening. This volume um, of 19 million, it looks like it uh, is the biggest volume by far, right? And so this is on this bottoming forming AI. And again, I didn't have to do any adjustment to it. I can just expand it out a little bit. Um, one of the things that we do in trade ideas is we focus a lot about on what humans are actually good at doing, right? And what we found out is that we're terrible at discerning lots of information. It's kind of, we have a limited scope on that. Um, and even though I'm going to show a little bit more, but basically we have trouble going over four. So in reality, like if you see this, Sony, IVC, OEC, and AVTI, that's about enough of what you need. Same here, SGNL, and EOT, and cool, and ORM. So the idea here is that every single day when you come in to the Bulls on Wall Street room, you guys can be choosing these types of bottom formations so you're never going to miss a kind of SGNL move. You know, you're always going to be in the stuff that's like, and if you miss this one, right, if something happened and you weren't in it, well, okay, well, here's another one. Right. And, and once again, remember, you can say to yourself, what is Dan talking about? But then all of a sudden, a quick adjustment to the bigger picture. Right. And you can see, look at this. I mean, this is actually a real serious, you know, move. And should you go try to break this downward trend, you're in a real upside. It is our belief in trade ideas that, again, opportunity comes to those who are the most efficient, who can process not just quantities of information, but the best kinds of information. In other words, you as a human are not the best at drawing support and resistance lines because your eyes like to gravitate to things that are pretty to them. But computers are much better at understanding, you know, what is this point? What is that point? And that's what we do with our AI pattern recognition. We serve you up with these patterns right, right away so that you can just focus on exactly where the action already is taking place. And once again, um, the charting, which is before we did not have, is going to be a part of uh, trade ideas. So there's really three kinds. So one of the really exciting things about this uh, webinar that I'm doing with you is that I'm going to offer you this workspace as a custom new workspace for any Bulls on Wall Street uh, trade ideas joint subscriber. And so 
that's why I'm going to I'm going to show you again a couple of other windows that are pre pre prepared just for this presentation. Okay, so one of them is this big fish in little pond. Okay, and this goes towards the idea of okay, well, first of all, I kind of know the general idea of the things that Kunal likes to trade, um, but I also thought to myself, okay, well, how do you keep pointing people in the direction of um, where you know where, where something interesting is going on. So here we have this list. Okay, it's called Big Fish in a Little Pond. Everything's going to be up, you know, some in this list. Let me make sure. Uh, well, at least uh, 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 it's both up and down. But the way I sorted it, and this is the thing, we a trade idea is at a, we we have this unlimited capability of being able to. Um, slice and dice the information. So I've taken this list and I've resorted it by showing me what's up the most over the last 60 minutes. So here, I'll, I'll resort that. So the idea is that when you're looking at these stocks, okay, you're going to be aware of these types of moves that are just happening, right? So this is kind of like, look at me right now sort of focus, you know? Look at this move. It's like these moves are still in progress. And of course, by the way, I mean, you can certainly filter this for volume and, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm just kind of giving an example. Right here's SBA, um, ALDW. And you can, of course, do the same thing for price. So the idea is that I, I always work with Colin with Maribeth, Maribeth to come up with a uh, a workspace, a concept that can appeal to you where you see the most interesting information and you also don't miss any of the things that are interesting. And notice that I've kind of, uh, and I think Kunal will, will see this, what I'm kind of doing here is instead of um, focusing on windows that are just geared for look, 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 which are our alert windows, which are very fast and you know they tell you information in time, uh, in real time, I'm kind of steering you guys now more towards like a, a, a slightly different approach, which is more of a list approach where you can change things, you know, by just by sorting it. So, you know, you can resort this list by what's up the most from the close. And of course, there's your SGNL, right? And OMAG and AEHR. But you can see that nothing's been going on over the last 60 minutes. But OTIC sure has, you know. CSUN, nothing going on, nothing going on. So it's this ability to zero in on what's important by just resorting and viewing things uh, that are already there and kind of setting up, right? So the computer resorts everything automatically, and here's MGPI, a new candidate. That looks kind of interesting. You know, it's just you'll see things that you like, and that just allows you to be in a position of freedom because you're able to um, evaluate the information more clearly. So let me uh, talk a little bit about the, um, the artificial intelligence, OK? So as Kunal said, how do you really know what's going to happen in the future with the stock, OK? Well, the answer truly is you don't. And nobody does. Kunal doesn't as good as he is, and I've seen him, and he's good, and neither the do I or any Goldman Sachs trader because the future is not known. But what we can do is we can make the best kind of speculation. So the question is, how do we do that? How do we decide, hey, MGPI might go versus, you know what, MGPI is probably going to run into resistance right here and not go. So that's an important question to figure out. Most of us, and, and, and I do a lot of this too still, we do this um, in a manner that's called discretion. You know, in other words, you take a look at something, you do a quickie, you do, JK, okay, look at this, man, well, how could I have missed this from seven? You look at this, Eric, this could still be going, nice breakup, okay? And you decide to go. But what you don't really know is the statistics that are behind it. And this is what I'm going to show you right now, okay? so. I created a window called breakouts, but wait. And 
we're going to show we're going to kind of go through some of these stocks and you'll see why i say but wait and i'm going to hopefully again just change the way you completely think about investing and trading so let's look at this so this window starts with an a okay and this is called an alert window and it's our real time window and i'm just covering up the top pattern window so that you know it's easy to see so the last trade that happened just was less than a minute ago cool which is right over here by the way on our bottoming list just form a new high and its next resistance which by the way is automatically drawn for you on the chart is at um 152 okay so again notice our our software is doing a lot of things at once it's auto um scrolling it's drawing the resistance lines and it streams so let's go ahead j a k k here's another one you know okay all-time highs because there's no resistance here's ebf resistance right there lpg another good one osn not as good but still decent pnbk same mpel you know making a move so here's the thing that we uh, notice when we look at these stocks okay and the thing is this every one of these stocks is going to look pretty good on the chart but how the heck are we going to know what to do with it okay so so here's what we're going to do i'm going to right click then any alert window with an a in it you can do this you can right click and you can say run odds maker so the odds maker is the only tool of its kind that you'll ever see that allows you to take an idea like here this breakout and test it against the entire market so let me put it to you this and trade station terms if any of you use trade station or other scripting programs so typically what people do is they write a script and then they test it against the stock but what we're doing because we have our own AI engine and our own database that watches everything in real time and adjusts and keeps baselines we're able to say okay computer when this new high took place and by the way I'm on the West Coast so that's why you see these funky times um, basically i say okay i'm gonna buy this alert hypothetically i'm gonna start 15 minutes after the market this is just to let things kind of calm down and not get swept away by volatility okay and i'm going to be initiating from the first 15 minutes to 11 a.m which is two hours before the close but then i'm going to say i don't want to i don't want to hold this overnight i'm going to get out um an hour before the close so my last trade would be an hour long okay and I'm not going to use any risk right now. I'm just trying to see what's going on. And I'm going to hit, uh, hit simulate buy. So this is the magic, boys and girls. Um, what you're doing is, so look, so far already, okay, we're 27, 30% through. And the computer has simutrated 2,500 trades. Remember that slide I was telling you about how, you know, I was made a quarter of a million dollars and it took two years just to figure something out how to do it and I had kind of taken a steep learning curve in the process well that's because I had to learn everything the hard way I had to do everything through trial and error and I learned again very very painfully how to do something versus how not to do something okay so here is our strategy and it should surprise you a little bit but maybe not um, we tested 6,300 possible trades between today, which is right here, and May and April. Killed it on the 15th. 76 of 100, probably a big turnaround day, and then March. So we started 31st of March, and you kind of see like how it went. Had kind of a nice run out of the gates, you know, in April. But then started to deteriorate a little bit, may and the idea is that of course we wouldn't expect you to be some th that you would trade this as a strategy the thing is that to have a clue do you have a statistical advantage here and the answer is no okay and this is the problem ultimately with almost every decision that um that you guys and almost 99.9 .9 of the investing public make is that we make our decisions based on things we see with our eyes but we don't know the math behind it okay and i'm going to move this away 
Okay, so I'm going to show you now is that I took, you know, for this presentation, I, I wanted to come prepared. So you aren't seeing me tinker with stuff, but rather just see everything in action. Okay, so we did this breakouts, but wait. Okay, and I'm going to move it away. And at the bottom here, I have what's called the bottom signals. So what I did was I basically took this strategy, okay, of the bottom for me AI pattern recognition. I added an alert to it and I asked our computer systems to basically create the best statistical strategy that our data could supply using all of the knowledge that I just showed you it used when it evaluated the other strategy of breakout but wait, okay? So it did this, and here's what the computer was able to do. So conceptually similar, okay? I'm getting in here, getting out at, I mean, I'm not initiating any more trades at 11, and uh, I'm getting out at 12. I hit simulate buy. And here we go. So here, the computer is not only showing me what, um, what to do, it's modifying this as it's happening, okay? Um, it's adding all sorts of different filter sets. It's going through tons of different combinations to see what would have been, like if you were a computer, what would have been the best set of uh, alerts and filters to give me a statistical advantage over the time frame that we tested and this is what it looks like slightly different um formula than we had before so although we did the same thing where we started out with probably like 7500 to 10,000 trades the computer kind of worked its ai engine and narrowed it down to a set which is here and this set had 51 trades over the cor course of the period and this is the kind of equity curve that we are trying to mimic so this is the, you know, the advantage of our technology of using trade ideas is that it, we go from guessing and hoping to having some numbers behind us. So let's take a look. Okay, so today this had one, well, I'm actually going to go to history and see what's happened. So what's kind of cool is, you know, the way that our uh, testing works is that it, there's in-sample and out-of-sample trades. So these trades, when I, obviously this was all in the past, okay? So I can go to, um, let's see here, on the 25th, and I know that I made a thousand bucks in lending tree, okay? So I took that and I kind of looked at this trade. Um, everything that you see on our, um, on our readouts, you can go and, and, and drill down. So it's a very powerful analysis, you know, tool. You know, any day I can see what happened. Okay, here I traded this one. What did I do here? Okay, I lost on these two. And by the way, this is the other thing that should kind of give you um, confidence is that there's no such system that wins all the time. So our systems are real. You know, they take real trading into effect. And you can see that there's losing days. There's just no way to avoid that. You know, you do the best that you can, but you still are not going to be perfect. And that's where, again, the tools that Kunal teaches you how to manage money and not sit into in losers, it becomes paramount in terms of importance. But so this trade, DMRC, though, is out of sample. In other words, this happened today, and we haven't tested the strategy. So this could be a winner or a loser. Okay. So right now, this DMRC trade is down 20 uh, cents. So it's very possible this one is not going to work, although um, there's still a half an hour left, right? But consider this. If you were going to have a loser, right, and uh, it wouldn't be that terrible if your loser was only 20 cents on the kind of volatile days that we've been having. So this is where I'm going to take a little pause. And uh, Kunal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to – show you guys the special offers that we have for the uh, bulls on Wall Street uh, clientele that we're uh, doing, you know, specifically for this webinar. So for the, some of you, you know, 
obviously know trade ideas is a subscription service and uh, again we're because you guys work with Kunal we want to really help you ease your way into our technology because we think it's a huge value add I think that if you guys are using trade ideas you become um, almost an, a value add to the room versus just a customer who's looking for a trade you're gonna see things that someone might not see and you might be able to you know give Kunal a name that he can then quickly with an instinct evaluate and that becomes a trade that otherwise may not have happened um, so we really believe that our uh, our viewpoint the ability to analyze this information the way that we're presenting it is the best way possible for you guys so we have a special code and it's called ti for B U L L. okay so what happens is um, for this this lets you save 30 percent today on monthly yearly or advantage players so what will happen is um, and by the way the monthly is just for the first month okay just so that everyone knows so the first month you subscribe instead of paying $75 it would be $52.50 the year which is an incredible deal instead of 628 which is what it is normally you get 43960 and the advantage player goes from 23643 to 16520 and then um, the odds maker so the odds maker this technology that um, allowed me to analyze this and to create the strategy that you're seeing here the way we've done it for over a decade is that it's a one-time lifetime fee and once you have it um, you get access to the odds maker forever as long as your subscription is active so today for this webinar what we're doing is we're uh, giving you guys an opportunity to get that um, for six hundred and sixty dollars and that's a huge huge um, promotion that we hope will usher in a new way for you to look at the markets and um, to evaluate things and make trades based on just the on the statistics and the math more so than the pretty picture um, Kunal maybe this is a good opportunity to take some questions what is a good way for us to do that if you uh, are listening my friend How you doing? Let me uh, read the questions off to you, and um, you can do what you do. Okay, please do. All righty, hold on. Um, uh, Dan, uh, well, uh, this is from uh, Mike. Uh, Dan, what is the best way to marry the trade ideas technology with, you know, what we know about charting in terms of timing stocks? You know, obviously, so I guess what he's saying is, you, you know, you're getting these alerts and filters, and then what do you do? Like, what if you, do you get the move before it happens or after it happens, you know, when? Okay, um, great. That, that's a great question, and I'm going to answer it in, in, in a way that I think, um, you know, kind of really hints at everything that we believe about the market dynamics. So first of all, remember that whatever move like hindsight is 2020 and one of the big pitfalls that we have as traders is that you know you'll see an alert and your instinct says well okay well I want to see that before it happens but the problem is you only saw it because it happened there's no such thing as seeing it before it happened because well it didn't happen yet so the best way to marry what you do with charting and trade ideas is to kind of first of all Focus, like focus your views on things that you're comfortable with. This is again what sort of what I'm showing in my desktop. So here, you know, I'm showing you tops and bottoms together. And again, this is one example and the one that uh, you know I, I've seen Kunal uh, discuss on on various occasions. You know, you want to be alerted to trend changes because trend changes often have this momentum behind them. Okay, it's the things that active investors like ourselves that's where we want to participate and how we want to trade so the way you marry it is you focus on uh, a certain pattern and then you design those patterns in the trade ideas and we do that for you you know um, so here's the tops and the bottoms you know what you're gonna see and, and by the way I mean remember if you're saying okay well I already saw these what else is there well you know there's there's more information there's more more lists there, there's plenty more more than any buying power you can have 
But this way, you know, you're not constantly just sitting there typing in symbols. You're focused. And then, here, I'm going to clear this real quick. Whoops, go to history. I'll go back to real time. So then you're saying, how do you marry it? Well, the idea then is you want to help have us help you with the help of the odds maker design a system that's just perfect for you and your type of buying power and pattern recognition. So here I made one that's for the bottoms, right? So these stocks, when they come in, you know, and, and again, I could have modified this. I can say, um, let me uh, trade these, but because of my account size, instead of 150, I'm going to say maybe it's, uh, let, let's call it 20. You know, just hypothetic, uh, hypothetically speaking, okay? So now there's just going to be, you know, much less action. And you can see, well, which one of the stocks that came through were actually profitable in that uh, price range? And again, there may not be any because, again, I was designing this system as just a very broad general view. So this, th this notion of the statistical analysis, it, 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 that, that's the way I would answer that question. It's to marry what you want to do with a simple chart confirmation that should take no more than, like, I would say, five seconds. If you're looking at a chart for more than five seconds, your mind takes over and it's not going to help. Sorry that best I plays, Best plays always hit you quick. Yeah. Okay. What um, else? Actually, this is a, and, and guys, uh, what Dan is showing you is like just one strategy that he's using these uh, bottom and top formings. They, there's a million different um, scans that you can make. So like, even for me, like, I have my own special that Dan made me. Uh, bulls on Wall Street scans and so we have like a whole set of like eight different um, scans that we run during the day like uh, Momentum stocks that pull back to the 9 or 20 EMA uh, Dan wrote me a scan for stocks that have a lot of momentum with higher than average volume that are Consolidating for two hours or more. Uh, right. He wrote me a scan for That he called canals breakout watchers, which is like for small cap stocks under five dollars that have a really high expanding volume out of nowhere that may be one of those next low flow runner type plays. And so really anything that you're looking to do, this is one example of what he does. They have the ability to make anything. And the good thing about their team is that when you have a specific idea, um, the trade ideas has like a, a really cool forum where there's all these people talking about all the scans they make and people share it with you. Like, you know, you can share it on the cloud. So like when somebody like one of my students says, hey, what about this scan? Like I just send it to him on the cloud and all of a sudden he's got like this, you know, this scan. And it's, so it's really cool because anything you're looking to do, like I always creep around on the trade ideas forum, like looking for new scans because there's always 150 people sitting there talking about like whatever they built and you can come in and contribute. I was going to say, uh, Kunal, if you look at the screen, look, in my cloud, I can see that when I made you the bull's layout with Meredith Bullseye here on 2013. Yep. So, again, we've been doing this a long time, and this is the beauty of the cloud is that you never lose it. Um, so one of the things that I want to show you guys now is that um, look at this channel bar, right? So this is the thing that I'm not sure Kunal is even using yet because it's kind of – I've been using the pre-market one a lot. Oh, okay, great. Um, so we created this channel bar specifically so that people don't really have to mess around with configuring things, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works, and uh, I'm going to go to the beaten up, okay? So here, uh, let me uh, do one thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load up the charts. So just so you see uh, new, let's see, new chart. And these are all ours. Like I said, and you can do a lot of cool things with them. And I'm, I'm going to move this window. And just so that you can see, you can duplicate a chart easily. Um, the software is just very, very powerful for you to be able to do anything you want. So, okay, so here we have a channel that's the beaten up. So I can see today Apollo, you know, getting slammed, uh, ABEO. So the idea here is let me move these charts over too. So the idea here is that. Um, you don't have to be configuring trade ideas to get instant value out of it. So another example is social media. So we interact with uh, StockTwits, 
And right away, um, we're going to show you which stocks are being talked about in the most unusual amount. Not the most, because that's always the same stuff, the Apples, the Twitters, the Facebooks. But look at this. These are what's being talked about in the most unusual manner. So SGNL, the one that well, we've all been watching, right, is being discussed 12,000 times more than normal. Okay, So this is how you know if something is or isn't interesting. And again, all of this changes in real time. Here's Juno with that gigantic gap today. Look at, you know, look at the way it's been trading, right? And I love, by the way, Kunal, how you just go over here and you see, well, where are you on the daily? You know, so yep. that better perspective. Fitbit, you know, is being talked about 371 times more than normal, okay? Um, and here again, you have the social volume radar. So instead of just showing you the pluses and the minuses, which we do, right? So here's the, you know, the guys are getting killed on, and also social media being discussed a lot and getting killed, been discussed a lot and doing well. But here's where all the volume is. And this is again where we showcase our proprietary data, right? So SGNL is here for one reason, it's because it's just trading so much. Uh, uh, unusual relative volume. But here, if you resort this by, well, what's trading the most in terms of the 30 minute, average 30 minute bar, that's also SGNL. But look at, you know, ANBC, you know, look at that volume. So you can kind of see is most of the last volume on the upside or the downside? Because look at the change is right there. So you can see that this kind of has, you know, more of a negative tint to it. Um, in the in the thirty minute area, ARTW, you know, tanking. But again, but if you're bullish, you can just quickly zone in right on what you want to see because everything is color coded. So this is the same thing with the five minute volume bar. So I can resort this right now on the five minute, and we'll just go through this. So these stocks are all right now just trading the most unusual um, in terms of their five minute. And I'll go here on the five minute bar. And um, obviously, all the averages can be skewed when you've got an SGNL type move. Here's 6,000 on the five minute. <laughs> ASFI, um, TW. So, this, this is again just a way for you to zero in on where the action is. And, and, and for me, like I'm constantly, you know, there's just a new way of behavior where instead of just trying to find symbols, what I'm doing is I'm just. Uh, you know, sorting and resorting. Okay, well, here's what's up the most. What's down the most? Okay, how about just stock to what's unusual? You know, look at that. I mean, just all the crazy stuff that's being talked about all over the place. And remember, guys, you didn't have to configure this. So all of this is this is the social media channel. One of the mo our most favorite channels that we created recently is a channel called the Surge. Okay, and what the Surge does is as you might suspect, it's looking for bursts of volume that are coming in, right? So ARNA, there's, you know, it's the volume just starts to come in. And here you have the strongest of highs where the alert windows are sorted by not just the fact that a stock's making highs, but how many they have made. Also explosive daily range where the range is different than the normal. Look at BTX, right? Look at this day. Look at this move. No, why weren't why wasn't everybody in it at 310? Why because I wish you, I <laughs> because I didn't have my trade ideas on. That's right. No, I mean, but 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 it's true, you know, it, you've got to know, right? And this is the thing, like on the surge channel, and, and that's why the name is what it is. I mean, you're looking for surges of volume and range explosion as a result, right? That's Look where the S reversals come from. Yeah. Absolutely. Look at STV. I mean. You know, there's one again, and, and you've got them all. Care Therapeutics. I mean, yep. Look at this move today. Damn. I mean, this is this is why it's so important. You've got to always be elevating your games. You know, if you like hip hop, you can see all the MCs basically talk about the same thing. The other MCs talking about stuff that I talked about yesterday. Well, this is you know. This is kind of the way um, trading technology is evolving, right? We, you right now are competing against people who aren't sitting there writing code and doing HFT. That's BS. I mean, people don't do that. What we do is we evaluate information and just make um, 
educated, speculative guess. But how do you do it to the best you know, of your abilities, right? Well, this is how, with trade ideas, because you don't have to sit there and configure. You can simply go, okay, I'm about to get my coffee, right? It's, it's the Kunal pre-market session, and here you see where everything is. Here's the gapping up, here's the gapping down. What's going on? Do you like options? Well, where is the most unusual options activity happening, right? Right here. Okay, and look at this. This one, um, let's see, what's the put call ratio? It's more on the call side. So you can just quickly see what's going on, and they're not all these expensive stocks, right? Somehow AMD has, you know, a huge options play, you know, all on the sell side, <laughs> you know? And, and, and once again, my, my, the biggest thing that I'm, that I'm constantly reiterating is that you do not need to learn to program trade ideas to use it. Here's China. You want to trade some Chinese stocks? Here's the Chinese stocks that are kicking butt today, you know, possibly rebounding from, you know, that big sell-off. Just go through it. You know, you can just quickly see what's, I mean, clearly too. I mean, very strong overall. Um, and notice again that we have ways that you can, divide the data but like well here's what's happening right now well who's doing the best overall you know from january in case like sometimes it's good to get into the trends that are already established so you have to figure all this new stuff out um so this channel bar has really been one of the biggest blessings for people because how about earnings calendar right um here's uh what's up with up with earnings today down with earnings today i mean you can just kind of see it all happening up with oh, earnings crap, I didn't even know you could scroll down, scroll down on the down channel bar. Oh, there's dude, there's so much stuff on the channel bar. Look, here's all the weed stocks. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, we've got California drought. Um, I mean, this is the thing, and we constantly add and subtract channels because if something goes out of style, look, the biotechs, right? I mean, this is a favorite channel. Everybody should be involved, uh, you know, in this channel to an extent. You know, you can see all of the things that are moving, you know, and be able to see these moves and say, like, oh, could this really be something that's worth a change, right? So for just being able to um, move back and forth between interesting information, right, penny movers, you know, do you want to trade just the small stuff? Here you have it. And there's your SGNL. You know, it's been on the biggest movers. It's on the penny movers. I mean, we slice and dice up the small stocks better than anyone. Hey, Dan, you know? um, yeah. can you customize, a uh, couple of people oh, are asking, but can you customize the channel bar with uh, your own custom scans too? Okay, great question. So in essence, yes, but, it, but right now you can't put an icon with your own channel, but what you can do is you can just go to my cloud, and here I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to type in bulls, and I'm going to go to uh, the bulls on Wall Street, and I'm going to load it up. And here it is, at least as I re remember making it. Yep. Okay. And here you have the market leaders. You know, and and this is something that we did very, very, you know, a long time ago. So much technology has changed. Um, let me go back to my cloud, or I'll go. Um, to the channel bar, which again, didn't exist in that time. I'll go to my cloud. I'll go back and search on bulls. See if I came up with a better one. Okay, how about this one? Load. Okay, oh, they're similar. Yeah, the, the, they're similar. But but the idea is that, that the one that I gave you guys, oh, here they are. There's, there's the- That's all, the one I use. Right, okay, so they were all hidden in there, okay. There we go. Yeah, so you have it in your cloud and you can access it all within a click, basically. But very soon, probably within the next three months, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give people an ability to create their own icons and just load their, make their own channels, just like we do. So, cool. yeah, so it's gonna be really cool. Hey, um, Dan, so does this apply to um, Forex? I'm guessing no, but yeah, right now no, and and Kunal, let me tell you why. So the big advantage that Trade Ideas brings to most people is that you know we're watching everything at once underneath. With forex, because there's just a limited amount of pairs that are actually worth trading, it kind of makes less sense 
for us to focus on stuff because it's e more easily monitored by kind of traditional analytics. Stocks mm -hmm. are really hard for people because, I mean, there's just so much information, you know, and how do you go through it all? So that, that's really where we try to excel is by being able to cut through like all the, you know, all the noise and kind of focus you on where the interesting things are happening. Makes sense. A yeah. um, couple people asked, Dan, um, when the odds maker, do you, does it take into consideration um, the daily chart or the overall trend for the S&P or NASDAQ composite? A absolutely. What you can do is there's basically, there's two different ways that you can run the odds maker. We have filters and I'm going to show you right now. So um, that's a great question, whoever asked it. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to move this away, and I'm going to go to this alert window. Okay, so this is a strongest of highs alert window. Okay, so what I can do is I can configure this window, and I can say, so in the search tab, I can say SPY. Okay, so you can filter it for the S&P change today or 30 minutes, or the last 15 minutes, or the last five minutes, or combinations of all of them. You know, and you can use that for DIA, or uh, there's more. Um, let's see. Oops, filters. Let me look at all of them. So there's diamond. I mean, and this, I'm just going to go through the list. I mean, there's so much flexibility. but. There's um, options you can filter by. You can filter by like how close it is to a whole number. And here's NASDAQ, S&P, um, Dow. So all those filters are there. So you can design a strategy that does trade in concert with the markets. But we actually kind of like ones that are independent of the markets, that do whatever they do no matter what the market's doing. That's just another approach. Um, and, and we do both. Of that. So, um, Kunal, any other questions before I jump into kind of a little bit more of just going over what you can do? Yep, uh, just a couple more. Um, once you find a stock according to these scans, how much time would you say you have to decide uh, when to get in? Okay, so th this is another great question, and this actually has a lot to do, I would think, Kunal, more with what you're teaching than what what I would say a software program does, but I will tell you this. Uh, again, if you read any psychology, Malcolm Gladwell's kind of pop culture stuff, he, he, he's a very smart guy, and he talks about that roughly speaking, the human mind usually makes all of its decisions already like under five seconds. You already know what you intend to do, whether it's nothing, something, whatever. Typically speaking, this is what, what I, I think, I believe that the name for it is kind of called like intrinsic learning, where um, imagine how if you're making a cup of coffee, you don't really think about your technique for lifting a cup, right? You just kind of pick up the cup, turn on your coffee maker, and, you know, you do your thing. You never say to yourself, finger, reach for handle, pick up cup, place cup in tray, like you don't have to think about it. That's all on autopilot. That's the same way that you should approach trading. You know, you see a name, you look at a chart, and that's it. You know, if you find yourself drawing, you know, a harpoon or, you know, a fishing lure or, you know, um, some lines on there, you're already missing kind of like what you should have been doing because the idea is that that's all beforehand. So I would say if you're actually at the point of evaluation, if you're spending more than 10 seconds, it, it's a waste of time. Yeah, when I'm using it, you know, the key for me is I, I, I trust the technology. If it shows up on my scan, it has what I'm looking for. And then if it's not too extended off the base, like I caught it in time because I was actually looking and paying attention, you know, that's the big thing. If it's way too extended, obviously you've missed the move. But yeah. if you caught it and it's right and you, your risk is reasonably low still, then that's something that, you know, I know I can play. And we filter for that too. Like, you yep. know, that's the whole point is that you don't need to ever be presented with a move. You know, like obviously Quinal an expert and he has the ability to kind of see more information than I would 
let like an amateur see just again because he's had the experience school of hard knocks um, most people that are kind of new to the process I would say look you know take the basics of what of what you're learning in bulls like I want to look at it look at OTIC on the daily and I mean I'm 99% sure that Kunal and I would approach this kind of the same way so look let's say you think that this is a bottom right well if you're in it for the swing time frame okay you basically have to say to yourself okay if I think this is a breakout well my exits got to be kind of below here because that means that whatever it was that was causing this move to happen if it went below here well then the thesis is obviously not working right so that means to me so I make a quick couple of decisions am I gonna get into a thousand shares right here no why well because if I'm wrong you know, I don't want to sit there and lose like you know 2500 bucks but you know a 200 share trade is easy to kind of keep me in this move and test it and I can say to myself okay listen I, I can keep this 200 share trade in here and give it kind of like a two point wiggle almost to see what's going on just in case if it then continues breaks out of here and then really starts to fill in the gap I mean Kunal would isn't that kind of high level you can make that kind of assessment in a blink of an eye like one second yeah that's and that's what you are trying to get to exactly what we're saying is just this quick uh-huh uh-huh because right right there you don't have to sit there and punch into a calculator wait a minute my buying power is da 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 and then, and then, and then, I mean you have to understand um, that you know if you're in it let's look at it on the five minutes if you're in it here right I mean you've got to understand it could easily pull back you know so mm -hmm. if you believe in that breakout and and again it could be it could be totally legit you know but if you believe in it you've got to be able to say okay I need to be able to stomach the risk because so many times people make the critical mistake of you know they they learn not to lose too well in the market listen I mean of course you don't want to lose right but you can also die through paper cuts you know you can lose consistently every single trade if you don't understand how to manage your risk and that's all about being shown the proper setups which is what Kunal and ourselves do so let me do this real quick. I'm going to show you another offer that I'm giving you guys um, in this room, which is really kind of like out of your mind sort of an offer. Um, this is the best one that we do. And, and, and let me tell you why. Again, this is basically disgusting. So this combination um, is $899. And what you're going to get out of this is a full year of trade ideas, so a year subscription. You're going to get your lifetime of the odds maker. Okay that's all included and a completely AI optimized strategy so basically the one that I had shown you guys well, I don't know, I forgot where I put it somewhere on my desk um, I'll find it ah here it is this one okay the one that has odds like this so we're gonna make one for you but we're gonna customize it to you right so whoever signs up for that eight 99 um, all-inclusive rate is going to get the strategy and um, what, oh I changed sorry I forgot I changed the filters hold on configure um, and, and you're gonna get our AI to basically customize it for you based on what your criteria is in other words your base criteria are you gonna be sitting there uh, uh, between 5 and 20 or maybe a hundred you know it just depends on your buying power so you get an optimized strategy you get the lifetime for the odds maker and all of this is included for um, $8.99 as a one-time fee and here's again possibly the best thing for it so remember right now um, charts are still not included in the latest even beta release um, if you subscribe before the charts are added you get to get the charts for free and one of the other things Kunal that we're doing which is pretty awesome is that we're adding a fully AI powered channel where the whole channel has um, those statistically optimized strategies and that's all there is in it and they're all automatically updated so we will have like a small cap like a bottoming uh, pattern just every pattern and it's auto updated by our AI so that that will really focus people more on just committing capital and working it versus just trying to sit there and you know draw trend lines um, the AI channel is also going to be $99 so if 
you're going to use AI and uh, if you're going to subscribe regularly, the total combined is $200. Okay. But if you do it beforehand, then you get it all for free. It's all included in that $8.99 because the way it works, the trade idea is once you have access to the odds maker, you get all the AI. So that, that's the value that we're bringing to the table. We're so confident with uh, what we are doing technologically is that you know th this, th this is a huge offer that we do just so that we can really introduce people to the full power of our tech. And this is the bit.ly link. So if anybody um, wants to check it out, it's http uh, colon two four slash bit dot ly eight ninety nine saver. Okay. So um, Kunal, you know it's already been an hour, and I want to make sure that I'm not overstaying my welcome. I want to let everybody know that if, if you want to be in touch with me, I'm, we're very easy to get a hold of. Either info at trade ideas.com or my email dan at trade ideas .com. Like us on Facebook. Um, we have two active Twitter accounts. Uh, I personally am at Trade Ideas One, and I post all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, and some of it's pretty good. Um, awesome, awesome. Yeah. So this is the uh, promo code for just the pieces. If you want each individual discount, but look at you know here you get four thirty nine for the year, but on this rate. The eight ninety nine, you get everything. This is by far the best promotion that we've ever run. Um, Kunal, are there any other questions? Anything else I can do for your gracious clients? Uh, I think uh, that, that is. is. Da, 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 da. Uh, a couple of people asked, uh, do the subscriptions come with like a tutorials? Uh, oh, that, you, you know what? That's a great question. I'm surprised I forgot about it. My goodness. I'm losing my mind completely. Um, probably one of the best things about Trade Ideas, guys, is our uh, support capabilities. Okay. So, number one, everybody who signs up gets a one on one training session so that you can really. Uh, um, Get yourself on the right footing. Hold on one second. I'm Googling trade ideas, getting started videos. Okay, so you can do this too. So we have a whole YouTube channel that's just for the getting started videos. Okay, so like how do you start? What's a top list? What's a multi strategy? How do you use the cloud? Um, we've been around for 10 years. So we really have a, just an extensive bevy of support. And whenever you sign up, like we said, there's that our chat room, which is um, our room where people exchange ideas on trades and uh, on uh, how to set up the software. So that's part of the support experience. And of course, the custom one-on-one -on -one, uh, training session that's you and our director of education really making sure that what you get is exactly what you need to get started. Does that make sense? Yep. yep. Um, guys, when I, I'm not very computer literate. I'm actually terrible at computers. And um, I think it was Brad from Trade yeah. Ideas. He sat with me for like two hours helping me make all my scans. Uh, the support is amazing. And even after that, I, I hang on the Trade Ideas forum all the time looking for new scans. There's like all these power users of Trade Ideas that are like, sharing their scans and talking about, hey, try this, try that. And so there's a really good community of people that you can work with, too, to yeah, really kind of come up with stuff. And you can access it from the channel bar, by the way. So remember, Kunal didn't know, but you can scroll down. So I can click the very bottom is live trading room. And, you know, and here it is, and it'll load up, and just so you can see. You know, there's always a, a little bit over 100 and some people in there just talking, you know, trade idea stuff. So all of this is available for you guys. We would love to have you in the community, and we're already, you know, involved with Bulls on Wall Street. So it would be amazing to continue working together and help everybody improve. Look at MPEL. So like this is an interesting kind of thing that you can see too. You see how it's like up on pretty good volume and just continuing, right? Boom, 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 boom. boom. It just means that there's, you know, it's just printing, and that's a pretty compelling, you know little move right here into the close. Yep. So, and that's how you see it. 
on the Surge channel, um, which is what we're on. Um, that's again, designed to never miss a move as it starts, quote unquote. Kunal, you would really like that one. Search channel be, should be something you use all the time. Sweet. All right, guys. Um, so again, uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, these offers are available one last time. Here's the promo codes TI for BULL. And of course, the 899 uh, bit.ly link. Um, Kunal, thank you for having me, and we look forward. Bye, to you bye. We look forward to you presenting to our audience. All right, take bye. care, Dan. Thank you. thank you so much again, everybody. Thank you, really appreciate it. Hey guys, this will uh, be uploaded uh, on the Bulls on Wall Street YouTube. So uh, you know, if you missed anything, I'll have the recording up uh, within a couple hours. All right, take care, folks. Take care, folks.